Hey, I'm Dan Harris, and here's what I'm fixated on this week. A fascinating and rather risky critique of Christianity by a guy who is an ex-pastor and ex-punk rocker. Here he is. His name is Jason Berggren. This video is from his days in a Christian punk band called Strongarm. After the band broke up, he went to Bible college, started a family, and helped to start a church in Florida. Now he's become a writer, and his new book is provocatively entitled 10 Things I Hate About Christianity. Hate is a strong word. Yeah, that's what I hear. <laughs> um, it is a strong word, and I wrestled with using the term. Um, I use it in the sense of an angst-ridden frustration. It's not a closed bit or anger. So you're not saying you don't want to be a Christian? I'm not saying that. I just have a lot of frustrations, and it's just a passionate, honest reckoning. Have there been people who are upset about the name of the book? Yeah, yeah, I get emails every so often. Um, people, you know how Christians are. And that is one of the things he says he hates about Christianity. Christians. Christians do dumb things. You know, they hold signs up at funerals and just very hurtful and destructive things. And Jesus took to task people who claim to represent him and came off as self-righteous. And so if we're going to point the fingers, I think we need to point the fingers at ourselves. I don't have time to go through all ten of the things that Berggren says he hates about Christianity, so let me just hit some of the highlights. One of them, believe it or not, is the Bible. Man, you touch the third rail when you say you hate the Bible. Yeah. What do you hate about the Bible? Well, you know, I go through the common things in there. One of the things I, I discuss is that it's boring. That's right. He just said the Bible is boring. Another thing he says he hates about Christianity is prayer. It just came to a point where prayer wouldn't work out like I thought it should. And I would think that God wasn't involved. He's not involved. He doesn't care as much as he says he, sh he does and, or that I think he should. And he's not giving me what... I want him to give me. You feel like there's no response. Absolutely. You should yes. be getting a direct response. If I'm going to be honest, for sure, yeah. I think it's worth reemphasizing at this point that Berggren is a devout and practicing Christian, which is why he wrote this book. A lot of times, we as followers of Jesus will represent faith in a way that, hey, if you, if you start this journey, it's like a cure-all, you know? It'll fix all your acne and help you get a really pretty girlfriend, and that's not necessarily the case, you know? It will bring a level of clarity and peace, but there's still going to be difficulties. He says he hopes that if he's brutally honest about his difficulties, even if it ruffles a few feathers, perhaps it will encourage some people to search out God. That's going to do it for this week. See you.